Hello, my Cancer family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly tarot reading for you, Cancer, for July 29th through July 5th. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. Now, just a reminder, these are general readings. For a personalized reading, click on my website link below. And I was thinking about my subscribers and viewers in the Southern Hemisphere. So I have pulled out my Game of Thrones tarot deck for this week's reading. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating this week. Starting with your first card, Cancer, you have the Page of Coins, which is better known as the Page of Pentacles. And the pages are the known messengers of the court, and the Page of Pentacles usually brings some good news in regards to money coming in. As Pentacles does represent money or the material world. Now, for some Cancers, you're going to be receiving this good news, and you've got money coming in this week. Now, this can be in the form of a possible new job or a bonus, a promotion with your existing job. This can be in the form of possibly you made an investment, and the investment is now paying off. But for some Cancers, there is an indication that this card is showing up is to pay attention to your body and the earth and nature. Get outdoors for inspiration. Get outdoors and meditate. Because there could be a message in the physical world trying to come into you and you're not going to hear it or see it unless you're in a more receptive environment such as nature, the outdoors. This is where you can tune into your higher self and receive the message. Now, this can be as simple as, let's say, you're sitting outside and a particular animal or bird or a butterfly, whatever it is, could come along and grab your attention. You might possibly be seeing repetitive numbers or something just keeps coming to mind. Messages can come through that way. But this card is indicating you need to be out in nature in order to see it and receive it. And then you can just look up the meaning behind whatever it is that comes your way. Taking a look at your next card, Cancer, you have the Major Arcana card, Strength. And the artist did pick a good Game of Thrones character to represent that by portraying Lady Brienne. That is strength. Now, the major arcana cards show up when change is taking place. And that could have something to do with possibly the money that's coming in with your page of coins. And the message behind the strength card is it's indicating that you get a situation under control. Connect with your inner strength to deal with some kind of conflict. This might be holding your ground, standing your ground, or hanging on to your values. This could be letting you know that you have the willpower to break certain addictions or a negative thinking pattern. Now, for other cancers, the strength card is showing up to tell you to have faith in yourself, have faith in your gifts and in your life purpose and for who you are. So primarily for you, this is inner strength and faith in yourself. And the strength card is a reminder for some cancers to really look after yourself. Be mindful of what you put into your body. Pay attention to the foods you eat, the things you breathe in. Make sure you're getting enough exercise. Because by taking care of your body, 
this can actually open up new spiritual doorways for you, Cancer. And it increases your personal power. Because when your body feels good, your mind feels good. And your spirit will feel good. Now, this is Leo's card, Cancer. There's a lot of power and energy packed into this card. The number eight energy of this card is abundance. It's leadership and it's influence. All three things coming right at you, Cancer, with this card showing up. So it's time to consolidate your material and spiritual resources. Get those together in case it's needed going forward. And there's one final message coming through from my guides in regards to the strength card. For some cancers, this is an indication that your health will improve. So someone needed to hear that message. Taking a look at your next card, Cancer, you have the Two of Spears, which is better known as the Two of Wands. So many star signs are getting this card in their reading, which is excellent because the Two of Wands means you're standing at the threshold of having a choice of which way you want to go next in your life. And you have more than one option. This card indicates this is the time of planning and where you're at. You're at the point where you do have the power to choose. This is very creative energy and you have only to choose what you want to do before going in a new direction. This card reminds you that you don't have to do things in the same old way that you always have been. You have the ability to create a new original vision for yourself. So this card is a sign of telling you to be brave, be bold, and be true to yourself. It's also a reminder to take a look back at where you come from and then start looking forward to where you want to go. The number two energy of this card represents the moment when two forces come together. Two is about the union and balance and harmony. And two is the number of the sacral chakra, which I talk about all the time, because it has to do with change. And here, both the spears or the wands are firmly planted. They are associated with the element of fire, and this is creativity, energy, passion, ambition, and a spirituality as well. And sometimes you can think of them as magic wands. They connect, actually, the material and the spiritual world, and they can manifest something really special. So with this card showing up, all you have to do is decide what path you want to take and then set one foot in front of the other because you have the power within you, Cancer, to create your own destiny. Your three card spread adds up to number 11. And 11 is a master number, which brings higher intuition and spiritual insight. This is a sign of enormous power, both mental and physical, because this number is the root of all other master numbers. The number 11 is an indication to connect with your inner wisdom. That's going to give you guidance as to how to navigate this week. You have the page of coins, which is indicating money or some kind of opportunity financially coming in for you. And you have the major arcana card strength indicating some change, calling upon your deep inner resources to have faith in who you are and overcoming challenges that might be in your way. And the two of spears or the two of wands is indicating that you're standing at the threshold of just being able to decide your own destiny, Cancer. You just need to choose and be on your way. Your numerology being the master number 11 gives you incredible strength and power. 
as long as you're connecting to spirit and be open and receptive to receive the guidance and inspiration and wonderful energy that spirit, the divine source energy, whatever name is for your specific oneness can provide. Now, let's take a look and see which crystal is suggested for you this week. There we go. Lepetalite. Well, the message is right here on the card, Cancer. Trust. This crystal is associated with the third eye and crown chakras. Now, your crown chakra is your connection with the divine, and your third eye is your psychic ability. So your angels and guides are telling you to trust in the universe, stay strong and positive, and stand in your own space, and know that you're exactly where you're meant to be right now. And that's referring to your strength card here, right smack in the middle of your reading. So try to remove any doubts you might have about what's going on around you, because it's time for you to just trust and move forward. And that's what your Two of Spears card is saying. This crystal can help you to see that you need to pay attention and trust any intuitive feelings that you're receiving. Because this is your, this is your spirit guides and your angel's way of getting the messages through to you, even if you don't understand why something is happening. Trust that everything's going to be okay. And the crystal lepetalite helps you to overcome any worries that you may have. It helps you to be independent and opens you up to trust and self-love. And this is known as the stone of transition. And if you're transitioning in a certain area of your life right now, then take this as a positive sign that you need to trust in the decision that you have made. It is the right time for this transition to occur. So Cancer, Start enjoying the beginnings that are flowing into your life. Now, I leave you with the message of the cards, Cancer, but it is all within your own hands. You decide your own destiny, Cancer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. Love and abundance to my Cancer family.